and uh, here we go, we have the Colossus, but the thing with these Colossus is they can get easily sniped by the Mutas, even though the, I mean, even though the Mutas might die, some of them might die, or a lot of them even might die to the Stalkers, the Colossus will get taken out, and if those Zerglings are still there, along with uh, Ultras, and get us around on the stalkers and eventually fungal growth on the stalkers as well remember now you cannot blink if you get fungal growth so that's going to be really bad for white ride let's see what white ride decides to do it's all about engagement it's all about the way they decide to start the battle but um also white ride i don't think he wants to fight on creep against demaga he should try get those observers and clean some of these creep tumors out because this is really offering a huge advantage to demaga who by the way i'm going to take a look at the income time again so still way ahead in gas income and pretty much equal at mineral income now two pretty scary armies let's get the supply they're both 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 pretty much maxed out so um yeah that's it if we look at the unit counting station to be more precise, we have 4 Ultras, 16 Mutas, 2 Infestors, and 54 Zerglings against 36 Stalkers, 4 Colossus, 1 War Prism, and 4 Sentries. And let's see, here we go, and the Zerglings are getting a nice surround off. This Colossus doing nice damage from the top over there. Fungal Growth going down, blinking some of the Stalkers over here. Um, Ultraless Guard going down, but the Mutas are doing a lot of damage from above. Now these Stalkers focusing fire over here, and seems like uh, White Rock came out pretty much... Uh, uh, no, not really. Pretty much, uh, yeah, actually. The um, thing is, uh, Demaga is replenishing his army quite fast right now, but Demaga came out ahead there for a little while, and uh, is still ahead right now. These Ultras not doing too much. Very nice blinking on top of the on top of this edge over here right now, so... Um, that's nice play over there from uh, from uh, White Rock. But the thing is, I'm uh, gonna take a look at the production tab again. We have eight Ultralisk on the way, and these Infestors are actually still alive, and these Muta still poking away at the Colossus. And uh, I don't know, uh, it's all up to Demag. I mean, what is he gonna do? He has a lot of unit production. I mean, he has like, don't know, eight hatcheries or something. They're not gonna sit and count, but something around eight. And. Um, Oh, oh, and those Colossus are so vulnerable to Ultras, oh my god. And uh, gotta be careful with these Stalkers, he doesn't want to be separated over here, because there's a lot of stuff heading his way. Using his Blink as well, I'm not sure this is gonna be good. There we go, oh, and the Ultras are doing so much damage. Wow, would you look at that, and uh, indeed. Now, take a look at the army styles again, so Dimag actually rocketing a little bit ahead of um, Wydra right now, but Wydra is uh, massing some more units again, but uh, he's getting a Dark Shrine, that's actually nice, I don't even think there's an Overseer out there, um, I don't think Dimaga is even uh, worried about Dark Templar, but... Um, Anyway, these these stalkers uh, can can blink up here once the Colossus give vision. There we go, and let's see how many drones end up dying over here. And oh, that was nice. So about I don't know eight drones or something like that getting taken out of there. He needs to focus fire on the hatchery though, and he's actually trying to snipe some of overlords, do as much damage as he can. There we go, uh, getting some damage in on the drones down there as well, taking down the hatchery. That's a very good move over there. Uh, has to be careful with these talkers though getting taken down the extractor and this is good because uh, Yep, there we go. He blinked up here and the thing is oh, but he got has to be careful He might just lose these Colossus and Corruptors as well. Well, this is a really anti-Colossus army right here Corruptors and uh, Ultralisk and this is really bad and I don't know what um, Demaga's answer is really gonna be I mean Dark Templar sure they're gonna be great against this stuff especially while there is no uh, while there is no uh, overseer up and uh, if you can get those uh, dark templar in there and your opponent is not aware of it and you're in the middle of the fight and you have like six uh, to ten dark templar you're gonna kill a bunch of stuff and uh, your opponent is not gonna be able to do anything about it now the thing is white Ross still has to be very careful though because these ultras are really really menacing they are fully upgraded fully upgraded and this might be really really bad he needs like he needs to make a lot of stuff he needs immortals badly and he's still making colossus i'm not sure i agree with this so many corruptors on the field yes he's still making colossus they are very vulnerable and gonna try and bait those corruptors in here but the colossus are still going to go down i believe and um here we go the dark templar moving in here 
gonna get a lot of damage i'm not sure demaga is actually gonna notice this in time but these dark Templar are gonna do a lot of damage there we go but the probes are going down and a lot of structures as well but the dark Templar are doing so much damage taking down ultra so fast look at this they are even better than immortals uh right now and um a lot of corruptors here taking down whatever is left but those dark Templar are cleaning up all the ultras and there was nothing really that the maga could do now let's see he has an overseer up right now but he did lose a lot of ultras uh and white draw lost a lot of lost a lot of um a lot of colossus as well now let's see if he's gonna get immortals are you getting immortals? no you're not getting immortals white draw why are you not getting immortals and um there is um there is an overseer here although these dark Templar might just do their job and take this hatchery down really fast Let's see what they decide to do, if they go for drones or, yep, they, they're going for drones and he has to be really careful, I mean, wow though, that is a lot of damage from those high, from those Dark Templar, um, losing a bunch though, but this altar might go down, no it doesn't, it's still, it's still alive, take a look at the cunning station again, and, um, hmm. three Dark Templar and eight Stalkers against all that stuff, uh, Wadra not looking so good right now, but, um, I mean, he's doing a good job killing off drones, killing off expansions. The thing is, the manga has been mining from this stuff all along. And in the meantime, I didn't see this one. Probably a warp prism uh, deployed here and warping in some Dark Templar. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. But anyway, most likely, there's no other way you can get Dark Templar there unless you drop them or you warp them in. And uh, a lot of Stalkers here uh, trying to do some damage, taking down some Corruptors. Let's see... And oh, a lot of a lot of ultras moving in here. And this a lot of stalkers is gonna lose every stalker if he doesn't move out. There we go. He moves out, and um, he has to be really really careful. He needs to take down the drones. He mustn't focus fire stuff, uh, fire on the other stuff because he's gonna lose these stalkers anyway. He's gonna blink on the high ground. Yes, he is. And oh, that war prism getting taken out. Now um, this hatchery lost all drones in there. It seems. And these stalkers gonna get some damage in over there. And um, there we go. Some observer dropped. It seems in the meantime. And uh, Whitera is pretty much mined out at all these uh, early bases, and he only has this up and this up. But this isn't really saturated. I think he's moving some probes down right now. Indeed, there we go. A lot of probes coming here to saturate this base. It's very important that he saturates his bases. He's uh, really behind on mining uh, compared to Demaga. Demaga is mining off a lot more bases. Now, here we go, more uh, Ultras being deployed here to take care of this threat, but uh, not managing to actually do it because the, these these Stalkers are really nifty with the blink. Now, um, taking a look at the production tab again, we have a lot of Stalkers being warped in again and more Ultras, so pretty much it's Stalker and Ultra right now. And if I'm to say who's going to win, it's definitely going to be the Ultras, especially if you get some fungal growth off. Now, two Dark Templar are coming in this way, and they might just do a lot of damage. They might just kill those drones over here. Yep, there we go. One drone, two drones, and... <laughs> and let's see, uh, that Dark Templar died due to the Overseer. Now, um, this uh, she should be just focusing down the hatchery. Uh, but look at how much damage this Dark Templar does. 60 damage. This is so crazy. With three upgrades, Dark Templar are incredibly strong. And one Dark Templar managed to actually weaken two Ultras and get them down to half HP. Now, <clears throat> these Corruptors are pretty much worthless unless he decides to turn them into Brute Lords. But he doesn't have a Great Aspire and he's not getting one yet either. Now, the problem is, uh, White Draw has resaturated this base over here and a lot of Zerglings here. So the only way he can take this down is with, uh, I don't know, dropping a Colossus here and uh, ripping some Dark Templar or something like that in as well. Or Zealots, I don't know. Zealots most likely uh, would be uh, great to deal with this. Now uh, we have speed for, um, what is it called? Um, observers. I just wanted to make sure it's not the uh, speed for Warp Prism because the icons are pretty much similar. Now, um, getting trying to harass all over the place white is doing a pretty good job keeping demaga in check and getting a few um, a few immortals as well now that's really good because immortals are really great against ultras and um uh it seems like white is diversifying his army composition quite a bit right now and uh, i really like this stalkers immortals one colossus and some dark templar thrown into the mix as well now he needs to there we go and he did the warp in uh, 
a lot of units right here, but I don't think it's going to be enough to deal with the Zerglings, although there's this Dark Templar here doing a lot of damage. There we go, and Dark Templar is moving into the drone line, trying to take down as many drones as he can. Let's see if he's going to warp additional stuff in right now. He's losing a lot of drones right now, so Demaga is losing, like, um, these, these Zerglings are going to die. Some more are getting morphed right now, but uh, he's losing a lot of drones, so <laughs> 15 kills on this Dark Templar. That's quite impressive. And two more drones here. Maybe should they shift his attention towards that before those Zerglings spawn? He needs to... Oh, and a big attack happening over here in the meantime. And it seems like Demaga is pulling his army back. And let's see now the Ultralisk... Um, a good fungal growth there, and this Colossus is just gonna go down really fast. Although the Immortals are doing a lot of damage to the Ultras, most of them are weakened. There we go. And this Ultra are going down as well. Wow, very nice. And Dark Templar also doing a lot of damage in the meantime. Another lonely Ultra is here trying to smash some stuff. And this is a lot of Dark Templar. I, 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 can't, I don't really think I've seen Dark Templar being used in a battle. Um, in a real battle, I mean, like this, because people say uh, Dark Templar are glass cannons and you don't really use them because it just, you know, it's useless, dies too fast. But the thing is, they do so much damage, and most likely, in mobile places, if, you've, if you're not fighting a Terran at least, detection is not, uh, it might not be there, so... Uh, obviously you can't scan, and if you don't have an Observer and Overseer right there, right now, uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be... Uh, it's going to be very uncomfortable to fight against Dark Templar. Now, White Rider is looking pretty good right now. Uh, let's take a look at Union Cunning Station over here. And let's see. Oh, and these Ultras are melting away so fast. Look at this. Look at the Immortals just cleaning up the place. Oh, Banelings though. But Banelings are horrible against Immortals. And you can see the Immortal Shields absorbing so much damage. Now, uh, these Ultras quite weakened right now. And White Rider, GG's. Oh, I tried GG's, and this is surprising. Um, I still think he could have done something. He was still mining. He was still mining. It wasn't mined out yet. He just needed uh, one more... Um, one more good push to take out the ground forces, and then he could maybe get to work on these. Because these... This is mined out, and this has no drones. So, uh, the only expansions from which Dem Demaga is mining are these, and... Um, if he took out the ground forces, which honestly weren't so many, like three weakened ultras, but a lot of zerglings, that's the thing. But if you just morph in some zealots and uh, I don't know, add some, add one colossus or some uh, dark templar in the mix, I'm sure he could have taken down these easily. Um, I don't know. My opinion, uh, in my opinion, uh, White Rose still had a chance, still had a lot of minerals. I don't think he were, he was aware of the fact that this is mined out and um, this one actually has no drones left, so. Um, I know he even look even had a Colossus left. Um, hmm, a quite uh, bizarre of White Ra. Uh, I do agree that he was in a pretty bad position right now. Um, three Ultralisk on the field, but they're weak and just one uh, coming out and two Colossus on the way for Demaga. Uh, whoa, three actually had money for this and this was mine. Uh, I don't know, really weird. I think the, the White Ra did a, a, a pretty rash mistake over here. I think he rushed himself a little bit. I think he had a fighting chance, I actually think he could have won this if he stuck by his guns and um, you know, and just kept at it as he has so far. But anyways, a anyway, uh, real good game. A very beautiful macro game. I mean, uh, from the Zerg, from Demaga, obviously impeccable expanding and all that stuff he's been getting used to. He's been getting us used to all these uh, nice uh, macro games and uh, very sneaky of him of him to get that overall drop and speed to get these early expansions out and i don't and white actually didn't catch them so early so he got quite a lot of um of resource boost from that although white rod did secure his gold the thing is um when i was saying before that all these two bases are only up uh, i i actually neglected to mention that this gold was up as well so that's three bases and that's quite a lot for white rod to counter but i still think white rod had a chance if he took out these with a swift attack uh, after dealing with the ground forces now um unit composition wise i have to say white rod did a pretty nice game a lot of dark templar usage uh i could even say overused you don't see that many games like that and um these corruptors though not really getting used so much in this game the only thing they really attacked was those colossus and um uh, i mean white rod and uh, didn't really make so many colossus in the end after all and he only got other stuff but uh, still zerglings in combination with ultras are really a good unit mix and uh 
if you add fungal growth into the equation, then you get something really, really messed up to fight against. But overall, a really great game. I enjoyed casting this one. I hope you liked watching it as well. And if you did, then do subscribe and um, stay tuned for more videos because I will be uploading something, um, I think, uh, after. The, I mean, I'm going to be uploading uh, two more games tonight, maybe, if I get around to doing them. It's quite late right now, so let's see if I'm going to have time to encode and upload them as well. So stay tuned for more videos, guys.